Ooh, here's a box from Brown. Now, I got an email from Brown application, and um, this is definitely a pedal that I've seen plenty of before. Actually, two pedals here. The idea of this video really is to help you make your choice between two products. Uh, cannot get into the parcel. That's that way in. Cheers. One of these pedals you will have definitely heard of, and I think that is the protein. This is the kind of definitely was the flavor of the month for a while. And the other is the Carbon X. In this video, hopefully by the end of it, you'll be able to make a choice which you prefer. Um, at least that's my goal. Very nice. Very nice. So basically gonna be the same format, essentially two dual overdrive pedals which i think is a, a really good idea this channel is supported by truefire truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players there's thousands of lessons on there you can use the promo code jnc40 to get 40 percent off of any of their courses So the protein has made its way onto pedal boards all over the world. One side is the low gain high headroom carbon overdrive. The other side is the Nashville inspired Atom, a high gain overdrive with beautiful singing mids. And when they say Nashville inspired, I believe we'd be talking there about the Nobel's ODR one, right? The Carbon X is essentially two classic blue overdrives modified to stack perfectly with a three-way high cut switch and soft switching. Confirmed soft. So let's hear what they sound like.
to say that I was somewhat um, of the view that these were somewhat overhyped maybe pedals in general just because I'd seen so much about them um, however I have been absolutely thoroughly impressed by them I was expecting probably the protein to make kind of most sense for me personally as I kind of in my rig having a higher gain kind of pedal I love the blues breaker sound and in fact what I found was that Possibly even the Carbon X might be the thing that might go on my board. I'm going to try both of them on my actual board and I'll report back on that. Um, but maybe it's a situation where you could switch between the two in some cases where it's like, right, I need um, a bit of a higher gain kind of rhythm tone. You use your Nobel style or the Nashville inspired side, the green. The, the Blues Breaker for me, I'm just loving how kind of glassy that side is. Um, you kind of know it's a blues breaker as they're hinting towards it being a a blue side b mentioning that john mayer continuum kind of tone i found out you know relatively recently when um my wife bought me the marshall blues breaker that they reissued that i really dig that sound um what the carbon x does is essentially gives you two of those somewhat similar to like the king of tone which is of course unobtainable in a lot of cases um, but this side here, which you're stacking into, does also have a high cut, three levels of high cut. So you can smooth things out in front of a, a higher gain uh, or a more trebly amplifier. So that's really useful. And what I figured I would use this for, um, as you basically saw in the intro there, hopefully, is kind of a more low gain tone and then also a high gain tone. And this, with the gain all the way up, has an incredible i think drive flavor kind of glassiness to it as well just sounds incredible david ryan harris was responsible for this carbon x 
um, which is essentially, as we've said, like two of the blue sides together. So let me know your thoughts. I'm going to play you out with both pedals as well now, but thank you to Brand Amplification for sending these over and sponsoring this video. I hope it's helped you make your choice between the two. I've tried to give, you know, like a range of tones from drive like halfway up, drive full, you know, stacked. Obviously, there's a lot these pedals can do that is uh, worth knowing about. As well, if you're a person who uses a switching rig, you can use TRS cables into these and go into in each side independently. So that's an in and an out, and then the out is an in and out for each side. So if you want to use it in that way, you can also do that. So if you've got like a gig rig quartermaster, something like that, these integrate with those really well as well. So quite a lot going on with these pedals. And I think more importantly than anything else, they do really sound great. I think when I plugged them in, played them, I just spat everywhere doing that, but they sounded way better than I expected even. So very impressed. Yeah.